Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and haven't you always wanted to drive a Cadillac? Sure you have, but have you ever wanted to drink one? Let's get into it. It's great to have every single one of you back here today. We are taking a look at the Cadillac Margarita. We've all wanted to drive that Cadillac of cars. The smooth ride, the vehicle that just is synonymous with luxury. You know what? Why shouldn't we have a cocktail like that? In fact, there is a cocktail like that. It's called the Cadillac Margarita. Now, in 1989, when Patron first came to the market, they were one of the only premium brands to have a premium 100% agave tequila. However, many years later, there's all sorts of different bottlings now available from a Silver or Blanco to a Reposado to an Anejo or to an extra Anejo. And that's totally up to you with what you choose and what you like. In this case, I'm a huge fan of the Altos Olmeca Reposado tequila, which is what we're going to use for this. Simple, easy. The other thing that makes this a luxury margarita is the fact that we use Grand Marnier. And that is a combination of a cognac and an orange liqueur. So it's not quite just an orange curacao. And it will give us some sweeter notes. Now, let's get into it. The first thing you're gonna do is grab your shaking glass. And we're gonna grab our tequila first. Now, as I said, I'm using uh, Alto's Omeka Rapazito tequila. And we're gonna use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Yeah. I just love the way this tequila smells and tastes. Now you're going to use your own personal choice with this. It is one of those things that a lot of people will just say you should use this. Experiment, have fun. Grab your agave syrup. We're going to use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Oh yeah. And we're only using a half an ounce because Grand Marnier is going to sweeten it up. Move this over slightly, grab your lime your knife and what we're going to do is we're going to cut it in half but after we cut it in half we are going to cut a nice thin lime wheel for our garnish and we'll put that over there we're going to shake and squeeze it and we need one ounce or 30 milliliters now keep your lime husk you need this put this off to the side we're going to throw some ice in here and we're going to shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Slap your lid on there. You want to make sure that when you put this together, it is nice and smooth and you have one, uh, one straight seam and it's off centered like that because as it chills down, it will actually create that vacuum that'll hold it in place. Give it a shake and a squeeze and smile. Just pop the edge like so, it'll come apart nice and easily. Put that off to the side because you don't need it. Now, grab my hands, grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm using a rocks glass. We are going to use our lime husk and we are going to use the pulp just to wet half of the rim. I only use half of the rim because not everybody likes a mouthful of salt when they're drinking the tequila. And again, it all comes down to personal taste and preference. Look at that, gorgeous. We're gonna add some fresh ice. Put that there. And now what we're going to do is grab your Hawthorne strainer, slap it into your shaker's glass, and we're gonna pour it in. Yeah, look at that. Now, what we're gonna do is grab your Grand Marnier. And what we'll do is we'll take one ounce and we're going to float it on the top. One ounce is 30 milliliters. And to do this, you can do it a couple of ways. You can do it with your spoon or you can do it by pouring it very slowly on the ice, like so. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, take your knife, put a slice in your lime. Put that on here, just on the edge of your salt rim, like so. That 
is a Cadillac Margarita. It looks gorgeous, simple, easy. Let's give it a smell. So immediately you get a little bit of the tequila, but you get the Grand Marnier front and center with the lime. Now I'm gonna try it first without the salt and see how it tastes. Mm. Oh, that's good. That is really good. The orange flavors are right there. Bang, in your mouth, solid, strong. The lime is there, the tequila is there, and it is really good. Now let's try it with some salt. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. The salt just livens it up just a little bit more. And the tequila pops just that slight a little bit. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down below. If you think we should use a different type of tequila, please leave a comment. That's really important because I wanna see what your preferences for tequila for this cocktail are. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rock because every little bit helps us to bring these episodes to you. You know what? You have a great afternoon. It's great to have every single one of you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Started the wrong part of the video. Bang!